Hi, this is Rahul with RideWithRahul.com and a lot of you have been recently asking me questions about riding gear, especially after the R1 video went semi-viral. A lot of you have been thinking about riding gears and I'm really glad that you took the message right way and you now are worried about your own safety. That is the message I wanted to deliver. So getting to the point, I have a subscriber named Jay from the United States and he's asking for a riding gear kit of around $500 to $1000. I know this is expensive but this is where we will start and next week we will do a video for our Indian subscribers which will be on a lesser price point. But if you are looking to import gears from the US at a higher price point and you are looking to save some money by importing from the US, watch this video and I'll give you a tip at the end of the video on how you can do that import seamlessly and save a lot of money and get high quality gear as well. So without further ado, we'll go into the topic. Firstly, I'll be doing the $500 riding gear kit and the riding gear kit will basically comprise of the helmet, jacket, gloves and then your knee protector and finally boots if it's possible within that budget. So for $500, I've got three options in the helmet. The helmet's the most important and try to spend as much possible on the helmet. So we have got a 2013 Icon Air model and that's gonna give you a lot of uh, benefits because it's a $250 helmet which is selling for only $107. So that is your first option and if you get that then you save a lot of money but still get a high quality helmet icon is actually known for its seven air vents and a lot of ventilation which is good for the user who lives in a hot humid and uh, sort of an indian climate perspective we're talking about so if you're in one of those climates you need a lot of ventilation you do a lot of city riding then icon air Mada, i've recently had a chance to uh, test one of these helmets out it was really good the build quality the fit and finish was good and it has a lot of ventilation even the internal lining is solid so i really like the helmet and if it's selling for a hundred dollars this is the best option uh, at a cheaper helmet you also have the ajc csr2 at 90 dollars or the cl17s for 134 dollars but i'd really go with the icon uh, uh, because it's on sale and you're getting a better helmet at a lesser price point right now so that's the helmet you're spending around a hundred dollars on it so we have jackets in jackets i always go with alpine stars having been a long time user of those jackets it it's got a lot of mesh which will be extremely useful to wear in the hottest climates a rain liner and a thermal liner as well on the alpine stars viper air jacket that's around a 200 dollar price point and if you're looking a little bit higher well at a five five hundred dollar total kit i would not look at a higher jacket i just stick with the viper air which is an excellent jacket you might need to add a back protector which is around a 50 dollar accessory to that so i'll leave all the links in the description so you can make the purchase from that and uh, now we're looking into the gloves gloves is very important and i've been a long time user of these gloves the alpine stars smx2 air carbon uh, unfortunately i've lost one pair recently uh, I'll not go into that and anyways this is the best pair of street glove that I've used it has got the carbon knuckle protection not much protection in the wrists but that is exactly how a short cuff glove is supposed to be like so if you're riding in a very hot climate if you buy leather gauntlets and you're not going to wear them that's not going to give you any protection so this is a better option for your street riding I do not recommend this for uh, highway riding or high speed sport riding and tracks you won't be even allowed to enter a racetrack with a glove like this so this is your basic option for your street riding smx2 air carbon i saw that it was selling for only 40 dollars i was very surprised it's really on sale right now so you should try to get that and uh you said you wanted a glove for rain and winter as well no summer glove can serve the rain and winter aspect so you'd need to have an apex drystar from alpine stars it's 94 dollars under 100 dollar glove you can also try out other brands like cortec or uh, speed and strength which are us native brands and they're really cheap out there but the apex drystar at 95 dollars i found it pretty good it's cortex it's got the complete waterproof ability and you can tour with that glove you can do winter riding and it's a full gauntlet glove so it can also do your one or two track days if you're looking to do one of that uh, it's not a track level glove i know but that's a entry level glove 
actually so uh, at the $500 price point we have almost uh, exhausted our budget we have had a $200 jacket a $100 helmet uh, that's $300 there and the jack uh, the, and the two gloves are costing around $150 that doesn't leave us much for the knee protector only about $50 so we are going for a vapor knee protector from Alpine Stars having been crashed in one of the Alpine Stars knee protectors I really know how solid they are and I've crashed in them so yeah I really like them and I'm recommending whatever product that I've used or I've seen my friends use so I'm really going to stick to some of the brands that I trust there are other good brands uh, but I'm only going to recommend what I've used and my friends have used I've, I've crashed in some of it I've seen my friends crash in some of it and that's exactly how recommendations go so $40 for a vapor knee protector solid piece of equipment so that really brings it the total to a $510 maximum to $465 minimum of all the things that I've mentioned if you add it up that's gonna be the total so $500 gear kit suggestion comes down to this now I've not got any uh, riding boot suggestion within this so you might want to add a short boot for around if you want to save some money on the gloves or you don't want to add the apex dry star glove uh, which is a waterproof full gauntlet glove you can cut that out and you can buy a, a short boot at around a hundred dollars from joe rocket or cortec uh, so now we are going to move into the 750 dollar riding gear kit if you're looking to spend a little extra first thing is i try to beef up the helmet because i'd want to have a better helmet now agv k3 helmets are really good at around 117 for the solids to uh, 210 dollars for the graphics options it's really good solid piece of equipment i've used agv for three years before switching to ajc so i know what i'm talking about i would really go with that if you want to stick to ajc in the higher range i would say the is 17s uh, look good to me you have got a lot of options i'm not going into it basically you're looking at a helmet at around 170 dollar price point now if you're going into the jackets we have the uh, viper air which i already suggested but you also have this exciting option of the alpine stars tgp plus air jacket i mean sorry the tgp plus r air jacket which is a excellent and jacket great styling with alpine stars logo up front you've got bio armor you've got a lot of mesh you've got your uh, rain and thermal liner inside it so you can ride it in the warmest of weather and it's uh, it's really good you will need to add back protector and chest protector separately if you are looking to beef up the protection that's ar around 230 dollars for this jacket tgp plus r air jacket just 30 dollar extra from the viper air it's really good in that black white red option it just looks uh, solid and sporty you also have a all black murdered out version as well so you've got uh, on the gloves i'd still stick with the smx 2 air carbon because this is a glove uh, a basic kit should have always and you're looking at the apex dry store again i'm not going to beef up the gloves because in 750 dollar range i'd like to uh, give you a better knee protection so i'm giving you a bionic knee protector at around 99 dollars from alpine stores it's really a good level of protection for your knees and a little better than the vapor knee protectors but even the vapor knees would do so if you're looking to get a lesser price knee protectors you might go beef up on the gloves and this is how it's gonna work you can have a lot of options and combinations which i cannot cover due to the constraints of time so boots joe rocket or alpine stars short cuff boots go for them at around 120 to 150 dollars that's what you're looking at um, if you are looking to buy race boots and bigger boots which is what I like unfortunately I do not own small size boots or uh, short cuff boots so if you are looking to buy race boots you are going to have to beef up your budget but basically you said you are not looking to do track days and stuff so I am just keeping a short cuff and um, something which is going to save your budget and give you better equipment on the helmet and stuff because adding more money to the boot will obviously deduct you from the helmet and which is what i don't want to do anyways uh, now looking into the helmets for the thousand 
dollar riding gear kit remember when you're going to thousand dollars you have a lot of option you have a lot of flexibility because you're spending more and you can beef up on some things which you think you should need to spend more on like some people want to spend a lot on jackets i would firstly recommend that when you're spending thousand dollars on gear firstly get a very good helmet so around 350 dollars to 450 dollars goes into the helmet i've picked up a few hgc alpha a very good high level MotoGP level helmet because that's what Lorenzo is wearing. If you don't buy Lorenzo's graphic, you actually save $150. So basically, you're getting Lorenzo's helmet without the graphics at around a $364. It's retailing at Amazon after discount. So that that means you're getting MotoGP level of protection at a really cheap price point. Uh, other helmet options which you're looking at are the Arai Vector. That's $450 for solid colors. You're also looking for uh, Mark Marquez's brand. Um, I forgot, I'm forgetting the name, but I'm leave, leaving the name and description photographs on screen right now. So that's gonna be somewhere around $450. Um, so you're looking at a very good level of helmet when you're going into a $1,000 gear kit. And, uh, and even if you're buying a $500 kit and you want to go beef up on the helmet, Feel free to buy these helmets and keep the rest simple because uh, that's going to give you the best amount of protection. You need the best helmet you can buy. So in jackets, you have got the previous options. Plus, I'm going to add Dionysi Airflux jacket. A um, lot of mesh. You're looking at Dionysi, which is a premium brand, premium looks and uh, a lot of good finishing on that one. Basically, protection wise, don't expect anything more than Alpine Stars. It's the same C, C level rating. Unless you're going for the super speed textile jacket, which has got external um, protectors on the shoulders. Uh, so that's going to give you a more protection in case, uh, case of a crash where your collarbone and your shoulder gets a double layer of protection. So if you're looking at spending $350 on a jacket, uh, Dionysi Super Speed Textile is your thing, but it has a little bit less airflow, so it will be heating up a little bit more. So keep that in mind. Now, going into the gloves, still keeping the SMX 2 Air Carbon, but I'm adding a track level glove along with the dry star if you if you if you want the dry star for the wet days i'm also adding a, some sort of a cortex glove 100 dollar full gauntlet or if you want if you can add an alpine stars sp2 uh, glove at around 150 dollars or a gp plus glove at around 199 dollars 200 dollars price point uh, something like that so that's your glove options at a thousand dollars you have knee protectors or riding pants you have your bionic knee guard at 99 dollars you may also look at dedicated riding pants such as alpine stars oxygen air pants at a 200 dollar price point or alpine stars a10 airflow riding pants at around 270 dollars now this is all in textile if you want to go leather you'd obviously want to add a hundred dollars to that which is going over your budget and not matching your climate so i'm not going to suggest into leathers because you want a warm weather riding kit so that's what i'm keeping to so i've covered everything apart from the boots uh, boots get really uh, differentiated here you can go for the short cuff boots from Dionysi or CD or Alpine stars but that's gonna cost you more it's going to expand your budget so you can look at Cortec and Joe Rocket US based brands reasonably high quality lower price because you're buying a USA based brand from USA so that's really my options there I would, I would be looking at a Joe Rocket or a Cortec but if you have saved money on the thousand um, dollar riding kit by opting for the cheaper options above and you have saved around 250 300 dollars they might want to look at Alpine Stars SMX 5 or SMX 6 uh, full boots race boots or if you are really got a boot fetish and you want something classy Then yeah, this is the product you're looking at. It's a Dainese TR course out This is the non air version if you're looking at an air version You can have that that's perforated and it would be around $300 So I, I wouldn't really do it if I had thousand dollars to buy gear kit I would focus more on the helmet and the jacket and maybe have two three types of gloves so that i can do all weather riding remember never to get your leather gloves wet in rain 
they'll get spoiled and that's really bad because gloves really cost a lot of money um, if you're looking for uh, buying from the US and you, if you're thinking that you'd get these items imported into India you can get it hand carried by some relative and that will save you a lot of money because you don't pay any customs duties and you basically get free shipping in US and then you don't have to pay anything for uh, carrying them into India if you are looking to get them couriered to you you, you have to open uh, up a site account in my US and it will give you a temporary address in the US you can ship all your products there and then they will consolidate all your products and ship you to your Indian address uh, basically that will give you a 30% extra cost uh, so if you are ordering something around $500 expect to pay a 30% extra $150 on shipping and uh, customs duties so that's what you're gonna uh, be paying extra but sometimes after buying items on sale in the US you still end up saving a hundred or two hundred dollars uh, because you bought it from the US so those are my options so I hope you enjoyed this video it's really long I know I've been uh, going on and on for uh, quite a while right now so i've given you all the options and i hope you enjoyed watching this video thanks for watching and i'll see you very very soon this is rahul and i'm signing off if you haven't liked this video like it subscribe it and share it in facebook and so that other people can watch it uh, this is rahul goodbye